You're listening to Daily Mana Devotionals here. Thanks for stopping by. Great to have you here. If you're new to the channel, welcome, welcome. Make sure you hit the subscribe button with the notification bell turned on so you get a new post notification each and every time we post a new video, which is every single day. We short, we uh, post short devotions less than five minutes long every day to get your day started off on the right foot, whether you're going to work on your morning commute, uh, getting ready for work or school, whatever it is you got going on, you can listen to this video uh, while you're doing that and get your daily dose of God's word to start your day off on the right foot. So today's devotion is called A Most Fitting Response. We'll jump over there in a second. If you enjoy the video, make sure you hit the thumbs up. You can also shoot me an email at dailymanamedia at gmail.com if you have something more personal like a prayer request that you want to share with me or something you want to talk about uh, regarding God's word or Christianity or whatever, whatever's on your mind, shoot me an email, dailymanamedia at gmail.com, uh, or you can uh, put a comment on the video as well. Okay, let's jump over into today's de uh, devotion, a most fitting response. Scripture, he put a new song in my mouth, a hymn of praise to our God. Many will see and fear the Lord and put their trust in him. Psalms 40 verse 3. Pastor and lecturer Thomas DeWitt Talmadge, 1832 to 1902, told the story of an accident that occurred on a ferry on one of the Great Lakes. The little child standing by the rail suddenly lost her balance and fell overboard. Save my child, cried the frantic mother. Lying on the deck was a great Newfoundland dog, which plunged into the water at the command of his master. Swimming to the girl, he took hold of her clothing with his teeth and brought her to the side of the boat, where both were lifted to safety. Although still frightened, the little girl threw her arms around that big shaggy dog and kissed him again and again. It seemed a most natural and appropriate thing to do. Likewise, a response of love and gratitude should flow from every person who has been rescued by the Savior through his self-sacrificing death on the cross. He came from heaven's glory to suffer and die that we might have eternal life. The Apostle Paul expressed his gratitude when he wrote, giving joyful thanks to the Father, for he has rescued us from the dominion of darkness and brought us into the kingdom of the Son he loves. Colossians 1, 12-13. Is your heart filled with the praise and gratitude for all that God has done for you in Christ? It is a most fitting response. We should act like the little girl did in the story there because God has saved us in the way that the Newfoundland dog saved the little girl. This devotion comes out of Bless the Lord, O My Soul, a devotional by our Daily Bread Ministries. That's a good one. Thanks for listening. As always, uh, maybe spend a little time in prayer after this short devotional and have a great day in whatever you are up to today and have a great rest of your weekend. I will see you in the morning. God bless.